All right, I got a request for it, so let's do it. Let's make some Mountain Dew. Now, I grew up in Florida in the 2000s, and in middle school, this stuff was almost more common than water or even Coca-Cola. But for those who haven't had it, this drink is a very intensely flavored, orangey, citrusy drink with a huge kick of caffeine. Now, apparently the reason this stuff is so strongly flavored is due to the fact that it was originally designed to be a mixer for hard liquor, including even moonshine. So today, let's go ahead and get started with this really orangey, citrusy, strongly flavored caffeine drink. All right, now the recipe is actually really, really simple. All we're gonna really need for this are three oranges, two lemons, two limes, and some sugar. However, instead of just using the juice, we're gonna use a pretty awesome technique to help extract some of the flavor from the actual citrus rinds. So to do this, start by peeling the oranges. And you can use a vegetable peeler here, which will work pretty well, but I've seemed to lost mine in the move, so I'm going to be using a knife. Now when peeling citrus, it's always a good idea to try to get as little of the white pithy part as possible, but honestly having some in here in this recipe really doesn't make that big of a deal. Now we're going to repeat the exact same process for our lemons just collecting this all into a bowl. And then lastly, we're gonna to move to our limes. Now, depending on the type of limes you have, the skin may be much thinner than the lemons or oranges. And this certainly was the case for me. So I opted to zest the limes using a box grater, which will basically accomplish the same task. So once we've zested the lime, it's time to create what's known as our oleosaccharum. And what this is is essentially a very intensely flavored sugar mixture. So to do this, mix in one half cup of sugar in with the citrus and give this a good mix. We really wanna make sure that the sugar is coating every single citrus peel here. Now, as the citrus sits in the sugar, the very potent oil contained in the peel will get extracted. Now, this oil is a really concentrated version of the citrus and will give us that really concentrated flavor that Mountain Dew is known for. Now, we wanna let these citrus peels sit in the sugar for anywhere from two hours up to a day. And the longer this sits, the more oil that will be extracted and the more flavorful our Mountain Dew will end up. Now, while this sits, we can move on to the other part of this, which is just juicing the citrus citrus we've just peeled. Simply just juice the lemons, the limes, and the oranges and collect this delicious juice into a bowl. And we're just gonna place this into the fridge while the oleosaccharum does its work. Now we can come back to this a few hours and it should look like this. And as you can see at the bottom, a sugary oily mixture will start to have accumulated at the bottom. And let me tell you, this stuff is super flavorful and delicious. Now we wanna grab every last drop of the stuff that we can. So initially I just sieved this um, to try to get as much of it out as I could but then I had the bright idea of using the citrus juice to rinse off the peels. And we were gonna mix the citrus juice in anyways, so just go ahead and pour that in and you know mix it around and really try to grab every last granule of sugar that's on the rinds. And then we can just sieve all of that. And bam, we have our Mountain Dew base. Well, sort of. To me, Mountain Dew wouldn't be Mountain Dew without its jarring amount of caffeine. Now, I cannot reiterate enough that this step is completely optional and you only really need to do this if you want to. So to provide some caffeine, I actually obtained some caffeine tablets and just started crushing them in a mortar and pestle. Now, a word of caution here, you really, really, really have to be careful here. And you really could end up poisoning yourself or others if you're not careful. So in total, the amount of syrup that we're gonna be creating creates anywhere from about eight to 10 servings. So I added 400 milligrams of caffeine, which corresponds to about 40 to 50 milligrams of caffeine per serving which is on par with what you'd find in a Mountain Dew. The other benefit of doing it this way is that 400 milligrams of caffeine, the total that I'm adding, is the recommended maximum amount for daily consumption for an adult. So this kind of really ensures you can't poison yourself even if you drank the whole batch. But as I said, really, really please be careful here. All right, so mix the caffeine in and give it a good stir. And it should dissolve pretty well, except for I discovered after the fact that there was a kind of a stupid gel coating on these tablets, which didn't mix in with the syrup. So I just ran this whole thing through a sieve to get rid of that. And then that's it. We're ready to make our Mountain Dew. Just pour in anywhere between one to one and a half tablespoons of the syrup, and then add in the soda water. And that's it. Now this stuff will definitely put some pep in your step. So drink this as if it was an energy drink. Um, or also feel free to enjoy this as it was originally designed to with a little bit of moonshine or, or whiskey. All right, well, that's it for this week. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.